Huh? I'm not sure. Let's let's meet up right over here. Uh, we'll it out. I don't know. What, what do we, we have do? well, we have your reservation, so I mean, yeah. we'll drop the hotel and go. Yeah, to yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Well, first of all, congratulations no, on the performance. Is uh, is there anything that you wanted to do in there besides finishing that you didn't? Uh, I'd have to look back, but I felt like I used solid techniques. Um, made a few technical errors that I realized during the fight. So just more improvements uh, I need to make, but uh, yeah, just wanted to finish him. I personally dug the taunting and the, and the Ali shuffle. And is that something we can expect to see more from you? It wasn't taunting, it was more just my techniques, uh, feints, uh, distraction methods, things like that, getting him off rhythm, you know, it's just, it's just you know, it is what it is. It wasn't to disrespect him, you know, nothing like that. Did you say anything to BJ after the fight? Did I say I was just, uh, you know, I said it was an honor, you know. I, said, I, I spoke my mind and I told him what it was uh, for me to fight a guy like him. You know, but I had to put that aside. Fight, fight, because no matter who I step into the, the octagon with, I'm there to hurt. You know, a lot of guys after a fight have a little bit more levity, smiling a little bit more. So are you, are, I mean, are you happy with what you did? Are you satisfied with the win? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I, 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 I had a lot of fun in there. Yeah. But, I mean, I have so much more to do. I, I, I feel so hungry. The job wasn't done. And I didn't finish him. I didn't close the fight. And uh, I'm very hungry to get my rematch with Carlos. So I'm patiently waiting on his response. Your boxing combinations look good. Look like you did a lot of work to the body. That's something that you specifically prepared for with BJ? Yeah, yeah, I always do. I, I, I like attacking the body. Um, specifically for this fight, I did I did train a lot for a lot of my body shots. Mm -hmm. And now if he's been taken to the hospital with broken ribs and stuff, is that something you can feel when you're doing it? I didn't know I broke his ribs or anything or whatever. I, it's just, I was just doing, doing my thing, trying to do as much damage. And what were your thoughts on Carlos' performance against George St. Pierre? I thought it was a really great fight. I thought, uh, you know, I thought I've seen a lot of improvements in him, and uh, you know, again, you've seen his warrior spirit. Do you feel the crowd at all when they're chanting your name? No, no. I'm emotionless. I don't care. People have sort of been touching on that throughout the week, and, and references to the psycho look and the killer stuff, and, and the emotionless. How much of that sort of wears on you and, and grates on you to have to constantly answer that, like questions about George? That for you, this has been about drive and getting to the top since you were 14 when you started, 16 when you started. To just be able to separate that and, and to not have that be an issue continually going forward. Um, I don't know. I just answer what I've just learned to just. I know the questions are going to be. Repeated. At first, when I first started doing interviews when I was young, it was very annoying. Because, like, didn't you hear the interview I did with that guy? I realized questions need to be repeated, need to be asked again. So, uh, I mean, I'm pretty comfortable with it now. I just, I just speak my mind honestly, and you're going to get the honest opinion, honest answer every time. With the championship and with getting to the top being something you've been preparing for since you started with David Tashido yeah. as a kid. Where are you in that progression to you? Where does this rank in terms of steps and how far away you are from completing that? Yeah. I don't know. That's really up to the UFC. You know, I, I just need to keep, keep fighting, keep winning, and finishing the fights. Have you spoken with George since the fight? Uh, he texted me and he said congrats, and I texted him and I said thank you. Nice. So what do you do to celebrate? Do you have your friends in town, your family? Yeah, I have my, I have my, my family. Uh, we're just going to go have uh, dinner and we're going to spend time with them. I, you know, it's 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 hard for me because I don't see them for a couple months. I go, I'm, I'm home training in Montreal, so it's hard to keep my mind off thinking about them. You know, it's, it softens me. So I have to really focus in. And so now that the moments come where I get to just soak it all in and be with them, it's like it's like the happiest time for me. Are you the type of guy who can take a couple weeks off and relax or are you going to hit the gym on Monday? No, I, I need some, some time to repair. Uh, if I am motivated to keep training, but that would be silly of me because, you know, in a month from now, when I hit my training camp, I'll be dead. So I'm going to take the time to recover my injuries. I have some squats that really need some attention. Such as? Uh, my elbow is from, from hitting him and stuff, but just small bruises, thumb, hands, stuff like that. Nothing serious, but, you know, I don't think anyway. So uh, I'll recover those and, you know, I'll, I'll keep training, you know, but slow progression into it.
your buddy Mike Leach is here. He's in a tough finale next week. You're yeah. Head down and, and watch that fight. Yep. I'm uh, I'm going tomorrow morning. Uh, spending the whole whole week with him, helping him prepare like he helped me this week. So uh, you know, I'm really excited to see him win this tournament. Are there any wardrobe items that are on the list now that you get this this victory, this fight is out of the way, you get a win bonus? Any purchases that are you've been eyeing heading into Christmas? No. I bought a Jeep. I bought a new car. Oh, first, first, yes, I did. The big dented in front end. Uh, yeah, I got rid of it. So I actually bought a decent vehicle nice. for the first time in my life. So that was nice. Are you a Gucci guy or Hugo Boss? Who do you like to wear? Uh, I, I don't know. It's just whatever the brand is. If it fits me well and looks good. Well, it does. Yeah, thanks. When, when you come to London, I'm going to take you to Savile Row and get you one of these. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, Savile Row, I'll get some tweed suits. Well. Okay, all right. I like tweed. I like yeah, tweed. Yeah. Some, James Bond out here. Yeah, it sounds I, I, good. You're smiling now. You, this is the first <laughs> time you've really smiled. You're making me laugh. Because the clown has arrived. <laughs> the clown has arrived, Gary. Are you happy with you, you didn't seem happy in the press conference. Are you happy with what you did tonight? I'm just focused. I mean, I'm, I'm, I am happy. I'm a happy guy. I'm really... Uh, Happy my family's around and uh, I did a good job and stuff. So, yeah, I'm just focused. That's it. Two more questions, guys. You said you're emotionless, but there was definitely some Rory chance tonight. And what does your fan support mean to you? I'm happy that people like watching my fights. It's you know it's important to the UFC that you know I'm putting on great uh, performances and people enjoy watching me fight, win or lose. You know what I mean? So, you know that's good. But um, as far as uh, their support, I mean, I'm still going to be me if I have zero fans. You know I mean, I'm still going to fight the way I fight if I have zero fans. So, in that sense, it's not a huge deal for me as far as when I fight. But, you know, I do appreciate the fact that they enjoy my fights and I, I, you know, I like it. Have you noticed, have you noticed a gain interest, or a gain interest in, in you recently? You want more fans or more responses, more interviews? Yeah, uh, I think that's just growth as a uh, as uh, in the sport, you know, if you continue to be successful in anything, there's going to be more interest. Did you find that, that we are a burden to you in a way? Because it's a part of it. It's yeah, not because, a burden. But, 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 but you know, in a, in a sense, we ask questions that sometimes perhaps take your focus away, and that's why you find it difficult to open up and fight weak. No, as much I, as we'd like. Well, to. maybe if I wasn't honest, if I had to give you answers that were like. Whatever thought out or something, maybe it would be dampering on my focus. But I answer all your questions honestly, and I try to give you, you know, an honest. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you Congratulations. Thanks, guys.